welcome to The Solve Network. I'm Shane Borza, host of the podcast. Along with my co-founder, Benjamin Goss, we'd like to welcome you. Our mission is to provide solutions and create a network of experts for you to learn from. We hope this episode and expert helps you to learn, grow, and move forward. And now, on with the show. Scene one, Apple, take one. Hi, I'm Shane Borza, your content creator coach. I have two books on filmmaking, Film Notes, where you learn to write, direct, and produce, and the Film Notes Workbook, where you can learn checklists and paperwork to streamline creating your content. Available at shaneborza.com. I also have filmmaker resources like the Paperwork Bundle with over 300 documents, the Sound Effects Bundle with almost 3,000 files, and the Music Bundle featuring 900 tracks of all genres. Want to build your professional credits? Become an associate producer and get listed on IMDb. Let me help you get your art out into the world. Scene one, Apple, take one. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another call with the Solve Network. I'm your host, Shane Borza, along with my co-host and co-founder, Benjamin Goss. We'd like to welcome you to another call. Tonight, I'm going to be giving a presentation on my new group coach course, which is Ultimate Performance. And we will have a discussion afterwards as usual. As I mentioned, we're going to be talking about my new course, Ultimate Performance, which is going to be framed through my lifelong pursuit of mountain athletics, both as a climber and a guide. And it is the unification between both mental fitness and physical fitness. So please let me know afterwards if you have any thoughts or questions. And of course, you can always email me if you would like. So to begin, who am I? I am a climber, a creator, and coach. And you see here, this is a photo of me when I was climbing El Capitan in Yosemite National Park in California. It's one of the most famous climbs in the world. If you watched Free Solo, the Oscar-winning documentary, uh, that is the cliff. It's a different part of it, different climb, but uh, nonetheless, it was the culmination of my almost 30 years of climbing. It's my identity, and it's one of the things that I love to do. I'm also a creator. Not only do I have a degree in writing and have been a writer most of my life, but I've also been to film school. I went to both film school and Stunt Academy in Australia, actually. So I got the opportunity to live overseas and work in the industry there and then come back to the U.S. and work in L.A. So I have about 20 years experience in both writing and doing indie film. And as I mentioned, I'm also a coach. And the climbing and creation kind of uh, two pillars of my life are really important in my coaching practice. And I like to help people as a creator so that they can create things, but also teach people through the experience of what I like to call the wisdom of the mountains. So it's a little bit about me and my background and how I arrived at my kind of philosophy and also perspective on coaching. So before we get into talking about my course and what it's about and who it's for, I wanted to share this quote from Brett Jones, who is the director of education for Strong First. They are the company that is kind of most known with bringing kettlebells to the kind of larger consciousness. They specialize in, and actually their kind of a motto is they go an inch wide and a mile deep. So they don't do everything. They just do uh, kettlebells, barbells, and body weight training. And their training is some of the best of the best. They go super deep on only a few things, which is paralleled here with what Brett Jones says, which is do away with the foolish pursuit of more and instead do less better. This really resonates with me, especially being a mountain athlete, because if you're out hiking, climbing, camping, backpacking, anything like that, generally you're carrying everything that you bring with you on your back and you only have so much space in the pack, but you can also only carry so much stuff. And so learning how to develop skill sets and do more with less is really important, but also in life. And that's one of the things that I really try to connect with people in my coaching is let's maybe do less things 
and have a higher quality. So I always want to start with a quote from Brett Jones because he's a super technical coach and athlete and educator, and he has a lot of experience in learning how to deconstruct complicated things and make them simple. So let this kind of frame the talk we're gonna have as we move forward. I hope you remember this kind of concept. So my course, Ultimate Performance, is going to help you through both the mental fitness and the physical fitness to think better, to move better, and live better. And I guarantee that that outcome will happen at the end of the eight week program. And I'll talk more about that at the end. So I wanna just throw a couple pictures up of some of my adventures in Yosemite. Most of the pictures in the slideshow are of me climbing in Yosemite. And these three cover about uh, 10 years or so. And I wanted to show a couple different aspects, not only of Yosemite as a park, because I think it parallels the different aspects of, you know, Yosemite is one place, but as you can see these three, you know, the color on the rock on the left uh, and the right looks different. And obviously the mountain, you know, vista in the bottom picture is very vast. Uh, there's a lot of different aspects of that park. And, and also the climbing looks very different in all three pictures. On the left, it's I'm just going up a, a vertical wall. On the top right, it's very overhanging and there's a big cave. And then on the bottom right, it's this big long ridge line. So we all have a lot of variety in our lives and a lot of different parts of us, but it's all still our life. Just like all three of these are pictures of me in Yosemite, so I'm in the same place, and climbing, I'm doing the same thing, even though they all look very different. Uh, but also I wanted to showcase the fact that I have continuously gone back to Yosemite and I've continued to have mountain adventures, even though I've gone from my thirties into my forties. And part of my passion is to be a mountain athlete, not when I was a kid, but as a lifelong pursuit. And the older I get, the more I realize I am able to continue to go to mountains and I will be able to continue to go for several years or even decades more because I'm addressing both my mind and body. Before I get into the details of the course, I wanna talk about a couple foundational principles that I have, not only in my life and in my practice, but also in the course. And that is first and foremost, that I like to, and I also like to teach people how to follow your psych. And it doesn't matter if you're psyched to go up in the mountains, like, like here, I love bringing together, and again, this is both mind and body, the climbing is, is physical. You know, I'm moving my body on the rock, I'm trying to figure out how to climb up, but it's also very mental because it's a lot of systems. As you can see in this picture here, I'm doing what they call a Tyrolean Traverse. So I'm lowering down off of the, that's actually a spire. So like a, a big, uh, almost like a skyscraper or something. And the main cliff is behind me off to the left. And so I'm kind of lowering myself down and then I'm going to slide across the rope to get up onto the main cliff. And learning how to do things like that's very complicated and it takes a lot of systems. And I love marrying those two things together, the physical and the mental. And that's why I call chess, uh, or excuse me, I call climbing chess for the body because you know, everyone has arms and legs and the cliff is the same for everybody, but how you're gonna do the sequences and what movements you do, just like how every single person dresses a chessboard in a different way and moves the pieces in different sequences. I love that combination of mind and body. But your site doesn't have to be the same as mine. What matters is you tap into the thing that you're excited about. And whether it's a hobby or your business or your family or whatever it is, it will help you to get through the hard times because you're like, oh, I've got this thing in my life and uh, maybe it's something you do on the weekends. If you had a hard week at work, you can enjoy the thing that fills you with psych. And, and you can even look forward to it to get through the hard time or the opposite. Maybe you had a great weekend going out on the boat or you were fishing or you're bowling or whatever it is that you love to do with your friends. And then you come into the week and all of a sudden all this work gets dumped on your lap. But you can look back and say, you know, this is hard, but I just had this great weekend and I'm so glad I had such a great time. 
So allowing and finding space to have things that you're psyched about in your life will help you get through those hard times because those hard times will come at some point. And if you don't have something that keeps you psyched, learning how to figure out what that is and also finding a way to afford it both in time and money is really valuable. Closely related to that is putting more and in your life. Especially in America, we live in a very binary society. We are quite often told or taught that everything is a choice and it's going to be between things. You can do this or you can do that. You know, the, one of the things people talk about a lot is it's love or money, you know, or it's time or money, whatever it might be. But we're not built like that and life isn't like that. You know, everyone has a left and a right. Everyone has a top and a bottom. Everyone has a front and a back. Everyone has a job and a family. So some of that is perspective, but some of it is problem solving. If you have things that are pulling you in different directions and you feel like you have to choose between them, but you really don't want to, that might be adding all kinds of stress and complication to your life. So figuring out how to kind of step back and go, maybe I reprioritize, maybe I get rid of some things and allow myself to have both of these. And I think that's really important and it's foundational because as I mentioned, the whole ultimate performance course is mind and body. And to go back to my introduction, I purposely introduced myself as a climber, a creator, and a coach because I wanted to introduce and right away to people. And then lastly, I'd like to introduce the concept of wandering aimfully to people because sometimes when you're on a path towards a goal, whether it's wanting to make a certain amount of money, wanting to have a certain career path. Uh, I always think of when I was younger, I had lots of friends in high school saying, I'm gonna go to this school and I'm gonna study this thing so I can get this job. And then like a year later, they come home on break and they've changed their major because they hate it. And now they don't know what to do because they thought this certain path was what they were going to do. And they started walking down it and it didn't fit. Quite often, things will fall out of the sky. We have these random connections or these like happy accidents. And those can put these amazing things into our lives. I know I've gone on trips before where there's like agenda or a, uh, some kind of like planned out series of like this day we're going to do this and then this day we're going to go here. But quite often I would come home and say, oh, is the random person I met at the coffee shop who said, oh, you, you have to go do this thing I'd never heard of. And that really made the trip. And so I found that the more in my life I allow myself to kind of, I always think of uh, Billy from the family circus. He would never go straight from A to B. He would always like wander all over the place. And he always ended up getting there, but he kind of did this zigzag pattern. So I found rather than just walking this path in my life, allowing myself to kind of wander back and forth, allowing myself to go over here for a while, coming back, going over here for a while, all of those little side trips, not only gave me lots of perspective, but a lot of living, a lot of great connections, a lot of great friendships. And sometimes that means the path will change, but it doesn't mean that you're abandoning the path. So being loose and having some room for fun and some spontaneity will quite often allow the trip towards the goal to be much more fulfilling. And I think that that's a really important aspect to, especially for long-term goals, enjoying the process. So to get into the course a little more deeply, as I mentioned, ultimate performance is marrying together both your mental and physical fitness. And I have two different colors here. The blue and the orange are kind of my colors for my coaching practice. Excuse me. And they represent, because I'm an outdoor guy, climber my whole life, so the, the blue is like the sky and the orange is like the sun. And I chose these specifically because I think of the mind as the sky. It's constantly changing. It's vast. You know, sometimes it's overcast. Sometimes it's raining or snowing. Sometimes it's clear blue skies. Sometimes clouds are racing across the sky. Sometimes they're moving very slowly. And the body is orange like the sun. You 
rise in your energy. You peak in the, and it doesn't have to be the middle of the day, but you have a super high energy level at some point. And then at some other point, your energy is going to dwindle and then you end up needing to rest, whether that's the end of the day, like the sunset, and then you sleep. And then you are recovered and you come back with more energy the next day, just like the sun comes back up. So I color coded these to represent that the odd weeks, which are blue, are all mental fitness and the even weeks, which are orange, are all the body fitness. So we start with team, which is not only the team of the class, but also the team you have in your life to help you accomplish your goals and thinking in terms of teams so that you're not feeling like you have to accomplish everything by yourself. Moving into then fitness and why it's really important, not only in sports, but also in your life and in your business to have the ability to move well, to lessen the pain you have when you do certain things and also increase not only your strength, but your conditioning. So if you have difficulties in your family, your job, or your life, you can handle them because you are able-bodied. Going back to mental, it's dealing with stress, which could be communication, anger. How do you deal with it? How do you dump it? How do you process it? Going back to body, it's dealing with diet. How can we make some changes so you can enjoy yourself, but have more energy and of course, diet relates to fitness very much. And a lot of times that's small changes, but we'll talk about all that. Going back on the mind side, it's dealing with focus and not just focusing in terms of what you're doing, but focusing on the things that are important in your life and focusing on your goals. Again, on the body side, it's kryptonite, which is removing all the things that rob you of not only your energy and your health and your wellness, but also your ability to do stuff in general could be time, could be money. Hacking all of your systems, like where you live, where you sleep, where you work, uh, relationships you might have, anything that maybe even a small tweak can have a radical change for you. As we get near the end of the course, we have our final a mental fitness week, which is purpose. And if you don't know what your purpose is, it's gonna be very hard for you to live it and to fulfill it. So we talk a lot about mission, which is what you're currently doing, vision, which is where you wanna to grow to in your life or career, and also your values. Again, if you don't know what these things are, then it's be very hard for you to live a valued and fulfilling life. And if you do know what they are, but you're not living them on a daily basis, figuring out how to kind of rearrange things or refocus things so you can is be very impactful not only in your life, but in your perspective and your view of things. And then finally, we end with the recover week and not just recovering from this eight week program, but how to put the lessons from hard physical training because we work hard and then we actually get stronger when we heal because we recover from our training and learning how to recover in our lives whether it's because we have a lot of stress in our life or there's a family or work obligations, maybe you're working a lot of hours. How can we take the lessons from the physical training and apply it to the rest of our life? Downtime, rest, recovery, not just sleep, but vacations, time off. The, the brain, just like the body, will do better if we let it recover and then come back and then we can be stronger. So it's a quick overview of the whole program and the four mental and body fitness aspects that we alternate through. And the reason we alternate is just like a zipper. You know, if you have your, your hoodie and it's unzipped, it's very easy to open and pull those, part, those apart. But if you zip it closed and those teeth come together, it's really hard to pull that zipper apart this way. And so by stacking all of these things and alternating mind and body and mind and body throughout the course, it's going to have this zipper effect and they will impact each other. And the goal is that you will have a huge output change and fundamental long lasting change in your life. So what is the program? It's an eight week course. Every week there's a 90 minute call, which is an hour of class and then a half hour of discussion or Q&A time. 
And so that breaks down into eight hours of class and four hours of discussion over the eight weeks. I also offer two one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with me, one at the beginning, so I can really help onboard you and find out, okay, what is your goal? And not only in the course, but what's your mental fitness goal and what's your body fitness goal? How can I help ensure that this course is going to enable you to fulfill those goals? But also checking in with you at the end. So you have an eight week course and then in week nine, after you've had a chance to digest everything and recover and figure it all out and sit with it a little bit, how can we figure out the next steps for you? Maybe you had something really light up and you say, oh my God, I've never done meditation before. Now that I've been in this course, I really want to learn or, or study it or go deeper into that. Like, okay, great. How do we help you do that? Or maybe it's part of my goal was to get fitter and I started running and now I really want to run some races. Maybe uh, there's a 5k or a 10k coming up, or you want to really challenge yourself and do like a half marathon. What's the next step there? Maybe you want to connect with another specialist. I could recommend a nutritionist to you or a business coach because you've decided you want to create something. Maybe you want to work with me. So ensuring that there's this transition from the end of the course to whatever your next steps are. And this is where the guarantee will come in. Checking in and seeing, did you accomplish your goals or not? The other part of this program, which I think is going to be very impactful for people is getting a buddy in the class, preferably someone you don't know, that you can partner with throughout the eight weeks and that you will connect with outside of class, just like a study buddy or uh, like a gym buddy. The goal is for you to connect in whatever way, maybe you text or you could call each other, you do a video call perhaps, see each other face to face. But every week you would check in with them. It's a great way to ask each other questions, help each other understand things, maybe something didn't make sense in the class, uh, give each other some accountability to make sure you're following up on what you said you wanted to do, and also helping to explain things. One of you might have figured something out, the other one's struggling or vice versa. It's really a good way to check in and get some extra time and also expertise because everyone has a lot of experience in something. I offer email support through the whole course. If you have any questions or you want some resources or you just want to bounce an idea off me, you can always do that. And also you get the ultimate performance book, which is over 100 pages long. And there is a chapter in the book which corresponds to each week. So as you go through the class, that week will also have a chapter that you can do some more exercises. There's some powerful questions and some explanations of things in there. And it's a great uh, manual and also uh, kind of reference library for you. So a couple features of this course is it's very goal oriented. Eight weeks is two months. And one of the challenges of the course is that each month you will have a 30 day goal. And one would be for your mental fitness and one would be for your physical fitness. So week one of month one, you would say this month, for my mind, I want to have this be my goal, and for my body, this be my goal. And then about halfway through the course, it's like, okay, maybe you continue with those goals. Maybe you change them. But regardless, month two, a new mind goal, a new body goal. And part of helping you attain those goals is accountability. As I mentioned the buddies earlier, but it's accountability with me, with the class, and with your buddy. So you're gonna have a lot of follow-up, a lot of check-ins and a lot of accountability to ensure that things are happening. My goal is not to have this be another class that you took. My goal is this to be a class that transforms you and has lasting sustainable change in your life. And that's where accountabilities and buddies are really gonna be helpful. Also, I'm going to be teaching concepts. I'm not going to be giving people super specific things such as uh, if you want to improve your tone and your arms, you're going to do this many reps of this many sets with this much weight. Those things are very limiting because let's say you move or your life changes or what have you and you no longer have that gym available or you no longer have that equipment available. Now you say, oh, I was doing this very specific thing and I can't do that. So now I don't know what to do. Or 
uh, I wanted to do that thing he told me, but I'm not able to. And now I feel like I failed because I couldn't implement the very specific strategy. Instead, I want to give you concepts so you understand, oh, if I want to train, I'm going to err on the side of, for instance, push, pull, hinge, and squat exercises. And then you say, it doesn't matter where I am, uh, if I have a gym available or not, I know that if I want to work on my arms, for instance, I'm going to focus on push and pull exercises. And even if that's push-ups and pull-ups, I know how to accomplish that because I understand the concept of it. We're also going to talk a lot about experimentation and how that leads to change. So being open to those 30-day challenges by experimenting with different things, but also coming into the concept of, okay, how's change going to happen in my life? Maybe I'm starting doing things, but I'm also going to stop doing things because both of those are important. Again, the and concept. So it's not starting or stopping, it's starting and stopping. But also speed. You may find that there's certain things you're doing in your life that would be much more greatly impacted if you found a way to do them faster. But slowing down is also really important. And it may be that you're overtraining and that's why you're always exhausted and feel like you're sick. And so slowing down and resting more and training less may actually enable you to have more energy. You'll heal faster and you may find that you get more out of your training. Or you may find that really I need to give myself a kick in the ass and do more faster. And I'm going to take the training wheels off and I'm just going to go fly down the hill on my bike, uh, you know, metaphorically. And so uh, changing what you're doing can lead to greater change, but that will only happen if you allow yourself to experiment. So this course can be for teams, but also for individuals. Publicly, this is going to be offered on a quarterly basis and anyone can sign up for that at any time. So if there's a one or two of you listening, and you're like, oh, this sounds like a great course. This quarter, it will be February and March for eight weeks, starting the first week of February. And then next quarter, so uh, March, uh, it ends the first quarter, April will be off, and then it will be May and June, and so on throughout the year. One month off, two months off. And anyone can join that individually. But if you have a business, or maybe you're a manager, or a supervisor, or you're a group of uh, teachers, for instance, you can put together a group and contact me and say, hey, there's five of us, there's 12 of us, there's uh, 11 of us, whatever it might be, and we would like you to start this course next Wednesday. C can we do that every Wednesday for eight weeks at 10 a.m.? Like I say, sure thing. And I can have multiple teams. I could have uh, maybe even two teams on a Wednesday, you know, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, something like that. So this can be an on-demand course for a pre-existing team, like I mentioned at, at, at a company or uh, maybe if there's a small business. Or you can put together a team. So again, if you and some friends want to do this, I can start and stop at any time whenever it's convenient for you. Just let me know. And you can sign up or contact me to help figure out when to start it for you by going to my website, which you see right here is shameboards.com. Wanted to finish up by talking about one of the most impactful and unifying things I've ever done in my life, which is this film, El Cap Wedding. So the poster's on the left, and the quick backstory is my wife and I got married, as you can see the upper right uh, picture, on a ledge 300 plus feet off the ground in Yosemite National Park on El Capitan. And that was not only the unification of me being a climber, a creator, and a coach, because we had this six-month kind of team training where I coached everyone on, on fitness, and uh, someone was afraid of heights, so we had to kind of coach them on the mental aspects, but also coach them on how to, how to do the technical aspects of climbing. But also doing the climbing and also doing the 
uh, wedding and also doing the film. So it really brought all the aspects of my life together. And my wife and I were very proud to have released, a, we did a short film in 2017, it was about 40 minutes, and it won a Best Documentary at a Film Festival. And that was really satisfying, but it didn't really tell the whole story. And so we have a feature film version coming out this year, and it's going to premiere in Las Vegas at these two film festivals, the Action on Film and the Hollow Dreams. And we're very excited, not only for us, but for our team, in the lower right-hand picture, you can see the team, to have had this once-in-a-lifetime experience. And again, for me, it's doubly impactful because, as I mentioned, it was the climbing part of me, the creator part of me, and the coach part of me all in one project. So if it's in, anyone's interested in learning more about that, you can go to lcapwedding.com and check it out. And again, I really like to help people in both creative ways, teach people the wisdom of the mountains in my coaching, and really pull all of this stuff together. So if you're a creative and you're watching this, or uh, you're an um, entrepreneur or an executive and you're watching this, I would love to have you join me as an individual or have your team come in and I can get both that mental and physical fitness together to really propel you forward in life and in business. So thank you so much for listening. That ends my presentation. As I mentioned, if you have any questions, you want to find out more information on my program or other things that I offer, go to shaneborza.com. You can contact me there and you can also sign up to have a discovery call with me, free 30 minute call to discuss you know, how can I tailor this course to your team? Uh, do I have another offering that might be better for you? I have DIY courses you can do kind of on demand. I work with people one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, and again, if you are a creative person and you want help with a book, a film project, or anything else, uh, please contact me. I'd love to help people get their art out into the world. And remember, this course will help you to think better, to move better, and to live better. And I guarantee that. So thank you so much for allowing me to present this. And I look forward to some Q&A with everyone. Hey, my name is James. I'm a lawyer who's always been interested in optimal human performance. And that's how I found Shane. If you're looking to upgrade your mental and physical fitness, then the ultimate performance course is for you. It's the key to performing better at work, at home, and in all of life's challenges. I've also found it to be a great community of like-minded and supportive professionals. As Shane says, together, everyone accomplishes more. Want to have your ultimate performance or find out more about how to optimize your mind and body fitness? Contact me at shaneborza.com and see if the DIY or the group program would be best for you. Thank you for joining us on this episode of The Solve Network. These interviews are from our web series of the same name. Want to watch? head over to YouTube and search for The Solve Network. If you have questions, you can reach out to me at shaneborza.com. On behalf of my co-founder, Benjamin Goss, we're glad you are a part of the network and hope you are finding solutions. If you need solutions, please reach out.